Good evening, everyone. Welcome back, baby. It's the Quarantine Counter Series. You know, I stopped doing that because people thought their internet browser wasn't working correctly. But those long goods, mm, gotta love them, huh? So nice to be back. It is good to be back with you. Show number 91, 69 consecutive days. We are going forward on the March to 100 show. So we have nine, nine, nine shows left. And we're winding this puppy down. So um, people have been asking me, what are you going to do next? Well, first, we're going to go fishing. I've been wearing my Hawaiian shirt, practicing my fishing routine. I haven't gone fishing in a long time. So uh, let's put up the boat. Sandra, Camila, and I, we rented a boat. There it is. It's a banana boat, big yellow boat. Oh, they, see the water? So peaceful orange blue skies i mean after 100 shows we're gonna need it right so that's me fishing in the back looking for trout catch and release it's only catch and release don't get all up uptight about it it's catch and release okay um we also have uh, uh, sandra driving the boat and telling us where to go and camilo obviously telling me how to fish because it's he's always telling me what's working and what's not working so and then obviously the two dogs oreo and maui maui is the direction we're going out to hawaii but um but really people really have been asking me um Yo, we, see, where there we go, off into the sunset. I like all these animations. Sandra always had these cool little animations in her in her back pocket. But we've also thought about if we could start a new show. And uh, Camilo and I have thought about starting a staring contest show where basically both of us start st staring at each other. And see, that's what it would look. Let's, let's zoom up, up on that. Tell me what you think about it. I think, I think Camilo is winning that, the staring contest right there. He's he freaky, man. He's freaky. <laughs> No, we're not, we're not going to do that, I don't think. Not a good idea. Hmm, we'll see. All right, so by now you know, Quarantine Concert Series, we're putting these shows on because a lot of the gigs have gone away. Almost all gigs have gone away going through this time of pandemic. It's tough for creative professionals to have uh, performances, to make income. So we're trying to create a spotlight um, that puts the, the love and, and shine on these incredible artists. These are the people that share their mind, body, and soul with us, who have the virtuosity, have the vitality. They make life worth living with their incredible performances. So that's why we created the concert series. Uh, shows have been canceled into 2021. So um, this seems to be the norm. You know, America's sort of getting back to work, but I don't think that many concert spaces are opening up quite yet. Uh, not yet. Sp uh, not really in New York. I did write an op-ed about this recently. If you do want to support artists, here is some good examples. It's called Become a Patient of the Arts to Help the U.S. Economy Get Back in Tune. So what can you do? You can buy the music. You can stream the music. You can hire someone for a private lesson virtually. You have a birthday party, hire a musician. Have them do a private Zoom. You have a wedding, same thing, right? Uh, you can donate directly to an arts charity. You can go to Patreon and become a patron of an artist who's trying to go to, if an artist has a GoFundMe who's trying to um, make something happen, happen in Japan, for example, donate to them on, on, on GoFundMe. So there's all kinds of things you can do, all kinds of platforms you can do to support them, all right? So that's always a link between patrons and artists. All right, moving on, moving on. Um, All About Jazz, thanks to the folks at All About Jazz that simulcast our content. 25-year um, anniversary there. Make an artist page if you're an artist. Make a donation if you're a patron. Thank you to the folks at All About Jazz. We have a quarantine film series that we started, Conversations with Filmmakers, who have their films in top festivals like the Tribeca Film Festival and the South by Southwest. They've all been canceled, all been canceled. So it's hard to sell movies. It's hard to get um, deals together. Uh, this is this was a conversation with Sammy Khan. He's an Academy Award nominee. Has his new movie called The Last Out. The Last Out. The one a special jury mentioned is about Cuban baseball players who are trying to make it in the major leagues. I have a conversation tomorrow morning uh, with a filmmaker named Paxton Winters, and uh, he has a uh, I think it's a narrative film about um, about a uh, life in Brazil. So we can tune in tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern to hear that. All right, moving on. We always do a word of the day, a word of the day, the music education, right? So there will be a pop quiz, pop quiz. I will ask you what the word of the day is. If you drop it in the comments field, you will get a prize. What is the prize? A puppy giving you a trophy, a puppy giving you a trophy. You know you want that prize. All right, so our artist today, here's your hint. The artist today, his name begins with a T-Y. Here's your hint, okay? So the artist, the word of the day, tympanium, tympanium. A hand drum in ancient Greece and Rome, usually associated with the rites of Dionysus and Cybele. A Greek isn't that good, but tympanium. I don't think there will be any tympanium playing today. 
though we've been surprised before. So that's the word of the day. I'm looking at you, Daisy. I'm looking at you, Claudia. Can you defend your crowns as the word of the day winner? We will see. All right. Quote of the day. I dream in fire, but work in clay. I feel like a lot of these artists, they dream in fire and they work in music, they work in notes, especially the artists today. Totally fire. Can't wait to introduce them to you. Um, we are everywhere. We are on the Facebook. We are on the Twitter. We are on the Instagram. Cracker. Very nice and delicious. You can make us more out of it. Also on LinkedIn, over 40 million people have lost their jobs. If you are one of them, a heart goes out to you. Please stay with us on LinkedIn during your job search. And we hope to keep you motivated and inspired to crush your job search. Also on YouTube, also on Periscope. There's my Periscope, up Periscope, down Periscope. We're also on Twitch. We be twitching. We are booked up, completely booked up through the rest of the show. So um, uh, thanks for everyone who wanted to be on the, on, the, on the concert series. And I appreciate everyone, everyone, everyone for watching. You know, we're having 20, 30, 40,000 viewers per episode now. So we really appreciate all the love and support. That's my spiel. Now for the best part of the show, we get to meet the incredible artists. And what's great about this, we're going to be broadcasting again live from Sandra and Camilo's studio. I brag about Sandra and Camilo all the time. You know, I'm having a staring contest with, with, uh, with Camilo, as you can see. Their studio is really phenomenal, and we get all these cool multi-camera shots. So I'm really excited about how we're bringing the show to you. But first, this is an incredible, incredible artist. I was listening. You know when you listen to soundtrack and you're like, damn, these guys can play? That's what I was listening to. I was like, these guys have a have the sizzle. They have the it's just beautiful, beautiful music. He is a singer, songwriter, recording artist from Philadelphia, born and raised, and now in the New York area has appeared in Broadway productions. He's toured internationally. He's had several releases and has toured with his band around the world. Please welcome to the show the incredible Maestro, genius, high priest <laughs> of music. <laughs> Hi, Stevens. Welcome, thank welcome. You, thank you. Thank you for all those titles that I have yet to earn. <laughs> You've, well, I can call you a gardener now because it looks like you have a fur next to you. Well, yeah, and, uh, but very I do, do gardening, so, you know, yeah, you can add that to it. <laughs> Love it. Okay, well, we'll have to add that to, in, the, in, the, in the crawl. Um, hey, I want to ask you, Ty, and, and I know Richard's there, too. Uh, I want to ask you, Ty, how has the quarantine um, affected you so far? Well, as you can see, I no longer have hair. But then I haven't had hair for a long time. But um, if I had hair, I would have lost it by now. <clears throat> it's, 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 it's been very challenging. Very challenging to keep motivated, um, to, to keep productive. It's almost too easy to just do nothing. Uh, you know, I'm used to traveling. I, I, just before this thing kicked, I, had, I was in J Japan for four months. And um, they had to cancel the end of the tour that I was on with this Japanese artist named Toshi Kubota um, because of all of this. And uh, so I'm... I've been home for the last two months, basically in the quarantine mode, which is so much fun. Oh my goodness. Mm. <laughs> mm. I hear you, I hear you. Yeah. Let me ask you, how do you structure your days? I like asking creative people this because it's easy to get into a rut. And I'm wondering, like, do you wake up at a certain time? Do you have the same habits? How do you structure your creative time? What can you tell us? Well, that's been kind of my saving grace. I, I've structured my time. I get up every morning at 8.30. I, I go through my whole process of meditation and reading and all the things that I do in the morning. I do a workout and then I get, you know, go online and check whatever I need to check there. And that gets my that's like almost half my day by the time I get there. So then the rest of the day I can find either going out to shop or, you know, get some groceries or just getting out into the park, get some air and some exercise. And, um, you know, so then I kick in a little practice on the guitar and. Uh, some songwriting, but I haven't really had that fire right now. I'm still adjusting to the whole, you know, uh, antsiness. I like I like to move, and I, I was telling people, you know, I don't mind solitude because I can do it, and when I and I do it for myself, I just don't like being forced into it. That's the hard part. I like to do it when I want to do it, and then yeah. it serves a purpose rather than just being for the sake of whatever. So that's you know that's been it. I've been trying to be as creative and productive as possible. Got it, got it. I'd like to say hi to, to Richard as well. I don't know if the cam, uh, we can, hey there, how are you doing? Welcome how to the show. You? Good to see you. Thank you so much. Good. I want to ask you the same question about how has the quarantine affected you? Well, it's, of course, it's been tough for everybody. And it's been personal for some people uh, more than for others. But for me, 
it really has put me in a mind of uh, relearning my own art for myself. Uh, Ty and I, uh, in different ways and with different people, have now been performing over 40 years. And we've been performing with many, many different people, many different artists, many different uh, ventures. And our personal stuff sometimes gets put on the back burner because of the necessity of making a living. But this period, uh, which has uh, touched me personally, has given me time to look back on the things that I've created and put on the shelf. And I'm redressing a lot of my own uh, poetry, music, compositions, putting new clothes on things that are 15, 20, 30 years old. But I listen to them and say, this stuff is ready and it's still now. Uh, so, you know, there's a blessing in everything. And for, for this, I'm grateful that I can re-see myself. I like how you say that. And something else I'm very grateful for is you and Ty and your beautiful music. We would love to hear um, some beautiful music. And before we start your music, I want to ask everyone um, to m let us know where you're watching from at home. Um, I'm, I'm from Atlanta. I'm in Atlanta. Obviously, Ty and Richard are in New York. And I want to let them know everywhere that their music is reverberating around the world. So uh, tell us a city, state, county, extra points for counties, and I'll share it with them <laughs> so they can, uh, they can know where their music is lighting up. up. Uh, in the world. Ty, what would you like to sing for us first? Um, let's see. Uh, well, a song that's kind of uh, autobiographical. Um, it's actually a song we haven't recorded, we've recorded, but we haven't released it yet. It's on the next package of music that's coming out. And it's a song called Long Way Home to Philadelphia. Great, let's do it. Mm -hmm. So many times in Moscow, you think I was a spy. So much in Monte Carlo, but can't afford to buy. Tropical adventures, Tahiti to Brazil. New York, London, Tokyo, never get my fill. It's a long way home to Philadelphia, far cry from where I began. It's a long way home to Philadelphia, following a plan with no map in my head. Yeah. come true the whole world is my home I guess I always knew mm. city of my birth the bell of liberty from Philly to the world live my destiny Yeah, it's a long way home to Philadelphia, a far cry from where I began. It's a long way home to Philadelphia, following a plan with no map in my hand. It's a long way home to Philadelphia, far cry from where I began. It's a long way home to Philadelphia, following a plan with no map in my head. Yeah. Mm. Uh. where I be 
began. It's a long way home to Philadelphia, following a plan with no map in my head. Yeah. Mm. Uh. Far cry. Far cry. Far cry. Far cry. Long way home. Far. Cry, far cry from Philadelphia. Far cry. Thank you. Well, listen to that. Who are those people? We love you, Dan and Atlanta. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Everyone watching, you know what to do. If you if you do the emojis, I will translate the emojis into real life. So here we got some claps, some hearts, some namastes, hearts. Clap, namaste. That's Maxime giving us some namastes in there. <laughs> Vanessa's got some panning applause to the left, to the right, some treble claps. <laughs> Daisy's got some hearts and hearts and claps and hearts and claps and hearts and claps. <laughs> oh, thank you all. Listening live from Staten Island, Richmond County. Hugs and kisses for the musicians and the music. Hey, Mindy. Really, really good. <laughs> we got a woohoo in there. So some of the places that are tuning in, you're talking about a long way mm-hmm. from Philadelphia. Um, we're a long ways from Philadelphia when you think about some of the people tuning. We got Tokyo, Japan yeah. in the house. Um, Hi. We have, uh, <laughs> you got Houston, Galveston County, extra points for counties. Uh, Goodyear, Arizona. We got Queens, Bloomfield, New Jersey. Again, more in Tokyo. Um, we have Serbia in the house. Evansville, Illinois. Wow. Wilmington, Delaware, James, my buddy. Ber- Bergen County, Nutley, New Jersey, Madison, New Jersey. So all over the place. Uh, we have Brisbane, wow. uh, wow. Australia wow. in the house as well. Um, hey, Stacy. Yeah. We got Joe in Mississippi. Yeah. And then we got New Mexico. and ah, Patricia. Um, oh, so Patricia. it's almost like you're on tour right now yeah. <laughs> all around the world. <laughs> um, New Jersey again. So uh, I want to ask you about, um, yeah, your people. Let me ask you about some of the, uh, some questions coming in. Um, there you go. <laughs> we have a question first about your gardening. Someone, someone wants to, uh, Sally wants to know about your gardening. They want to know what, what's in your garden right now and, and how often do you tend to it? I tend to it daily. Um, mm-hmm. I have a very small garden because I live in a condo community and uh, it's all landscaped. But Last year, I asked the condo board if it was okay if I used the um, the, the retaining wall at, in the parking lot because <laughs> I have I I used to own a house not far from where I live now and I'm in New Jersey, and um, I was always in the soil and I miss it so much and I have no outdoor space in my my building, so I said let me see what I can do. So that's I'm, I'm but it's only flowers, you know petunias and pansies right now. That's it. Um, Got it. No no vegetables no fruit no nothing. Gotcha, gotcha. Some questions about your last record or the release, Aquarian Mind. Let's get that up on the screen, Aquarian Mind. Tell me about Aquarian Mind. Uh, what was your thought process putting it together? And tell me about the production process as well of Aquarian Mind. Wow, now, Aquarian Mind, we're digging back just a little bit. This is the album before the latest one. Yeah. It, it, it's um, the first time I tried produced, getting produced by several producers. The uh, first two albums were produced by one producer, and that was Joe Scott. This is now... Um, I can't even tell you all the names, including Richard Cummings and and my bass player, uh, my former bass player uh, Ron Monroe Mandu, um, uh, and so that was that was I was seeing what it felt like to have several perspectives from a production, you know, uh, to see if it w- if it would gel and feel like a cohesive idea, um, 
and it, it, I feel like it really did work. I liked what what came out of it, and each producer brought their different flavor to my music because it, you know, it's it's uh, it's music that I create, but then once it gets into other people's hands, you know, they're they're they they mold it and shape it a little more than I can, and um, yeah, so I'm, I'm very pleased with that album. A lot of good stuff on there, stuff that still hasn't even been heard yet, actually. Um, uh, because, you know, as an independent artist, it's a little more difficult to get your music out there on a consistent basis, unless you have like a record company or some kind of real production funding behind you. So, um, I literally could re-release all my albums and they would be fresh and new to so many people. But the good part is we've had, uh... Wow, I started recording in '96, so we've had a good many years of, of, of uh, putting out recorded music and having a great response and having requested music, which is lovely to have people know your music and you know and ask for certain songs. I have one one song that was asked for today, and I was like, I can't do it today. I can't do it today. Um, one in particular from my dear friend Cheryl, and uh, shout out to Cheryl Burr. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what's up? <laughs> yeah, it's been it's 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 been great. And that album again is is um, it's. I don't know. I want to say it's special, but they're all special. You know, it's like you can't say which, which which of your babies are special over the other one. You can, but you shouldn't, um, <laughs> I would think. Um, but yeah, it's, I, I, I love that album. I, I'd like to to uh, I'd like to tour specifically with that album uh, one of these days, just focusing on all that material that didn't get done live. We did a, a good portion of those songs have been performed live, but some of them are have yet to be, you know, given that full exposure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want everyone to go to Ty's uh, website. Let's get his website up on the screen and check out his music there. There it is, tystevensmusic.com. Make sure to subscribe and bookmark it. Uh, also go to him on uh, uh, all the streaming platforms, Spotify, iTunes, and subscribe as well so you get notified uh, on all his new singles coming out. Um, I hear he's been in the studio working on some new material. We're going to ask him about it later. So very exciting, very exciting. Uh, uh, what would you like to play uh, for us next time? Uh, a song that we have been singing, performing live, uh, a cover tune. And um, I'll just explain it very quickly. We did uh, six summers in Monte Carlo as the opening band for all the major acts that came through the main um, venue there, which is called the Sporting Club, big venue with the window, the ceiling ceiling opens and they show fireworks, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. They shoot fireworks during you know during the evening, and um, uh, we made sure that we we aside from the original music that we were bringing to to the stage, we made sure that we brought music that was familiar to inter international audiences. But having having that be the case, you know, people have heard a, a lot of these songs over and over and over by everybody and their great grandma. So um, Richard, that gentleman in the uh, in the other room, uh, has always had this brain, a very interesting brain. <laughs> and so we asked him to uh, reinvent some of these songs. And uh, he's taken this one and uh, uh, made it a, a real favorite when, when, we, when we performed this live. It's another one of those songs that's well requested. And um, we dedicate this song always to uh, our bass player, Ron Rondu Monroe, who passed away in, in 2018. This was a song he always insisted that we play. So we're playing this for him tonight. I can see all obstacles in my way Gone all the dark clouds that had me blind It's gonna be a bright, bright, sunshiny day Gonna be a bright, bright, sunshiny day Think I can make it now, the pain is gone All of the bad feelings 
feelings have disappeared Here is that rainbow I've been praying for It's gonna be a bright, bright, sunshiny day Sunshiny day Look all around Nothing but blue skies Look straight ahead Nothing but blue skies
We got flawless. Thank you. Bravo. <laughs> Thank you. Just, you're lining it up all around the world. Oh, that's great. Oh. <laughs> Friends. So beautiful. Yeah, I guess you like that one, huh? Uh, keep going. Keep going. Thank you. Super you know, I really appreciate that song, um, considering what we're going through as a country. Um, you know, like this is a, I'm sure you saw the cover of the New York Times and we're about to cross the tragic milestone of 100,000 people yes. who've passed. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, our country's been, our whole world's been going through yeah. kind of a nightmare. So it's nice to hear the hope and the love in your music, uh, Ty, really lifts our spirits. Um, some, some questions coming in over on Instagram. Uh, we have a question. Let me just scroll up. Um, it's basically about uh, how do you prepare before a live performance, Ty, and how do you um, keep your voice in shape? Um, actually, you know, that's an interesting question because in this little hiatus, I mean, I've been singing on Sunday mornings for service, you know, remotely from my home. So um, my voice is feeling like it's gotten a little rusty because I'm only singing once a week. Um, I'm not singing for any other purpose. And I guess I'm, I, the motivation of getting up and getting ready to, you know, go to the studio to sing, to do some live performances, you know, all of those have been canceled. So the, the routine's kind of gone. So it's time to get back into it. But um, preparing for this one in particular, I made sure that I rested. That is the first thing you must do, rest and hydrate. Those are the first two things you must do when you sing. And then the other thing was I made sure I warmed up. Because <laughs> sometimes, you know, you like you feel like you're ready and you can just, you know, you get up and just sing. And then there are other times where you're like, mm, I think I need a little help. So let me, you know, let me warm up. So I, I warmed up today. I exercised. I, uh, I have to really kind of add that to the components that uh, physical exercise is a very great thing for, for, for vocals. It, it, help, it helps to open up your lungs. It, it gives you, you know, the stamina that you need. It, you know, and you feel just good in your body, which is your mm -hmm. instrument. So then you've just, you know, prepared your instrument to do what it does. So yeah. that's, that's how I do it. What an amazing instrument you have. I'm so glad you're sharing your blessings you. with the world. Tell me about uh, Good Medicine, your project, Good Medicine. Ah, yeah, no, that's the latest one. That's the one that's out now. Um, we've had a lot of great success with that. Um, great. We had uh, two videos from that, two music videos. Uh, one is for Good Medicine. The other one is for another song called Love is in the Room. And um, uh, it was produced by Richard Cummings and Ron Monroe and myself. And um, wow. I don't know what to say about it other than it, it because it's the latest and the most recent, I should say, um, there's a lot of, lot of good medicine, <laughs> uh, a lot of good music on there that just was um, steeping for a while, you know, because um, you know, there's another indie artist thing, you know, uh, in between albums is like maybe four or five years, maybe six or seven years, sometimes according to where your budget allows you to go. And since mine is financial financially backed by my pocket most of the time i have to start and stop and start and stop and start and stop so a lot of the material was just sitting in the, you know either been produced practically produced or um partially produced <laughs> or just sitting and waiting for, for us to get to it so when we got to it it was um it was ready and we had a really good time fashioning it um it was we started it while we were still doing monte carlo because we finished that a couple of years ago um and so we started some. We started debu debuting some of the music live on the stages in Monte Carlo, and that was exciting too to kind of see how it feels live, and then to take that element into the studio and bring that to uh, a recorded project. So, um, oh man, it, it's 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 got some really good stuff on it. Really good stuff. As a matter of fact, I just posted another song that I would consider to be a single called. Um, Speechless, which is on this album, and uh, yeah. I just posted that on um, SoundCloud. So if you want to check that out, please go to SoundCloud and and and, and uh, tell us what you think. Got it. Um, one of my favorite. I mean, I got so many favorites on this thing, but Good Medicine is one of my favorite to cool. sing. Where was this? Go ahead. I'm sorry. Where, where was this photo on the cover taken? Uh, believe it or not, that was taken in Japan by uh, a friend of mine who is an American who's lived in Japan for like a zillion years, <laughs> fluent in Japanese. His name is Mance Thompson. And um, that is actually the promo 
the cover on the in, on the in, the in the little box in there, that's a photo that was done. I saw his name up on the screen. Michael Pacheco took that one. He's here in New Jersey, and uh, he is the son of one of my dear friends. And um, the Anita Pacheco and uh, the whole Pacheco family was might as well say hello to y'all right now. And uh, uh, so that's his photograph on the inset. But and so we used several photographers and several uh, aspects. We wanted to just really kind of have a, a more rounded view of things, of me, of us. <laughs> and, oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh, what would you like to sing next? Uh, Richard is actually going to play something for us, uh, an original tune of his, and um, I I'll let him just go ahead and tell you what it's about. Thanks, Ty. Mm -hmm. um, in my first statement, I mentioned how long we've been doing this. And, you know, time flies even when it's standing still. Uh, I started my professional music career in 1973. And in those years, we've played with countless musicians, famous and infamous, some who stayed in the arts and some who fell out the day after, uh, some who are with us and some who have passed. And the song I'm gonna do is dedicated to all of the performers with, with whom we've worked and who have passed away. Uh, I wrote it when I was a teenager. Uh, it's not gonna sound like it did when I was a teenager because somehow uh, maturity takes you out of your underalls and, <laughs> and puts boxers <laughs> on you. <laughs> so uh, this is called A.B.'s Tune, and it's dedicated first to A.B., who was uh, a teenager with me writing music. His name was Alvin Brown, and he passed early on, and, you know, it broke our young hearts. But this tune is dedicated to all who have performed with us in the past.
messed up, brothers and sisters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they love that. I'll join in on that. <laughs> See? As much as I, as much as I want to um, show you all the love that's coming in, I only know we have a, a few minutes left and transition to the next song, uh, Ty, if sure. you like. Okay. If you like, then that's what we'll do. Uh, this is a song that has actually <laughs> um, made its way to two different albums. Uh, it was on the Aquarian Mind album, and then we re-recorded it and did a little, a little tweaking to it, um, adding a choir and um, just a different, a slightly different feel uh, on the Good Medicine album. So um, this is the song that I've been doing for, I wrote it in Japan when I was on tour in 2003 and um, was able to... Um, the song just transcends so many genres. It's 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 a love song, but it also has a very spiritual con- con- component to it. And uh, I've sung it at weddings. I've sung it at churches, and uh, I've had people use it at their weddings. One of my friends in, in Russia, and another friend in Oakland, and it's been all over the place. It's been such a blessing. So this is called Found. in your eyes found in your smile happy you said you'll stay for a while forever would be not long enough lost in our dreams found in our love I lost track of time did time move at all found in your touch so easy to fall the sound of your sigh the touch of your hand falling so fast a safe place to land i found in you safe ground in you i said my prayer then you were there I only know I'm safe and sound because in you I'm found I'm lost in a Days floating in space, anchored by love, found in your face, hearing you say, Be as you are, shine like the light found in the stars. I rest in your words, I echo the same. We speak with no sound, our heartbeats remain. If there was a it's all been removed, found in your heart, nothing to prove. I found in you, safe ground in you. I said my prayer. I'm safe and sound because in you I'm found. I was a missing person with everyone before, hiding in my disguises so
I'm found I only know I'm safe and sound Because in you I'm found My goodness Thank you, Rich. We, uh, I got to tell you, Ty, that was very moving, a very beautiful Thank song. Uh, we asked our audience. We like to hand out uh, prizes here on the show. Uh-huh. Everyone goes home a winner, but some are bigger winners than others. Uh, we, we asked the audience what we should give you, and the audience has spoken, and we're going to give you uh, one of the highest honors ever handed out on the Quarantine Concert Series oh. Uh, I, we've only given this out like once or twice before. It's uh, it's actually quite startling, and uh, this is something you can obviously put on your bio and everything. So, okay. from behalf of everyone at the Quarantine Concert Series, we'd like to present to you the Panda Trophy. Go ahead, give me the Panda Trophy. There it is. <laughs> Thank you. I like pandas. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. What an honor, a Panda Trophy. I'll go with that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Now, does the panda come with it? Panda's with it. Panda's with it. We also... Okay, um, I got to see. Make some <laughs> in my house. We, we also, uh, now that we're on trophies, we want to give out a, a word of the day uh, winner. We do have a word of the day winner. And, of course, it's like a six-time defending Uh-oh. champion. Daisy is our six-time defending champion. Let's give her a round come of applause. On, give her the puppy trophy. Look at Ty Stevens and Richard are applauding you, yeah. Daisy. Check that out. Congratulations, Daisy. <laughs> Typanium was the word of the and day. I didn't remember it myself. I'm glad uh, you didn't ask me. <laughs> that's okay. Da- da- that's why Daisy's there. She's uh, she Go, remembers it. Uh-huh. She remembers it. So um, cool, cool. Um, I do want to thank um, Sandra and Camilo. There's the studio that we're in right now that you guys are in right now. Let's put their website up on the screen. Um, yes. soundworksrecording.com wonderful people kind polite very hygienic uh, great people they wash their hands often <laughs> so uh, if you want to go work there you know what it's to do true. they have two dogs Oreo and Maui um, Oreo and Maui I don't know if we have we have shots of Oreo and Maui we can put up on the screen but mention one of the two dogs you will get a discount you can also skip there's Oreo and Maui the two dogs those are <laughs> mascotas <laughs> mascotas <laughs> exactly exactly so if you wanted to schedule time to hang with Oreo Maui, you can do that too. It is payable by the hour via PayPal, so you can do that as well. Um, thank you for, um, for that. I think we have time for a, a one more song. Oh, great. Um, I think I thanked everyone. Got all the thanks and, and trophies out of the way. What would you like to finish this uh, with, well, Maestro? This is a song from, from the same album, from uh, um, <laughs> Good Medicine. And um, it is... Uh, uh, a song that, well, see, there's a lot, a lot of spiritual edges to my songs or is spiritual content. This is one of those songs that, uh, that falls in that category. And its title is Feel So Good. And we want to leave you with uh, a good feeling. Beautiful.
silently I say, I am one with perfect mind, in my heart and in my soul, everything is now aligned, I am full, complete and whole, and it feels so good that all I want is more. In my fragrant garden, or sitting on my bed, I still the busy chatter that's stirring in my head. I open to the wisdom, I open to the bliss. I surrender to the beauty while repeating this. I am one with perfect mind, in my heart and in my soul. Everything is now aligned. I am full, complete and whole. And it feels so good that all I want is more, more, yeah. Hey Rich, I'm going to come right in here. Thing because you're a gardener. Because you're a gardener. One more time. One more time. Okay. More flowers. Let me give you our house plant. Oh, there you go. There you go. Uh huh. Thank you, house plant. A lot of love for the great Ty Stevens. I want to uh, thank you guys for being on the show. Let's put his website up on the screen again. Everyone watching, everyone who's watching is giving all kinds of love and praise. Go to Ty Stevens' website. There it is, tystevensmusic.com. Subscribe, be a fan. Check him out on Spotify, Apple Music. Um, you know, Follow him on, on uh, Instagram, Facebook. He's doing a lot of great things. Him and Richard are making just... Just the beautiful, beautiful music. You heard it here today. I cannot wait to meet you guys in person and see you guys play uh, when the world resumes its scheduled programming. And until then, you're always welcome uh, back on this show if we ever reboot this thing. Uh, thanks for all your you so incredible much. virtuosity, you, both of you. Really, really thank just you. pure geniuses. Thank you. And thank you, Camilla all right. and, 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 and Sandra, for, for uh, facilitating this for us. Exactly, exactly. Always a lot of love in the air. Thanks, for, thanks always to Sandra and Camilo. 
Um, thanks everyone for watching. Keep it here at 10 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. We'll have show number 92. Only eight more left. We're going to get Roxana Ahmed. She's going to be broadcasting from Miami, 10 p.m. Eastern. And if you can, stay home. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.